guys, since it's Friday, I thought I would give you something to do over the weekend. Let's join Miss Sharon as we draw an armadillo. Tonight, we're going to draw an armadillo. You know those things that you see creeping around in your yard, digging up little holes. That's what we're doing tonight. So to start with, we're gonna do a shape that's a little bit like a football. It's gonna be right over here in the bottom left-hand corner of your page. Here we go. Do the top line first. And I'm gonna let the ends be a little pointed. And come back up, just like so. Then comes the body of our armadillo. So I'm gonna start right about here, middle of that football, and I'm gonna just draw a straight line. There we go. And I've got, still got about a hand's width of distance between the end of that line and the end of my paper. And then the back, it's gonna be a curved line that starts here, right on the back of his head, goes up, comes down to connect right there. Now for some ears, because armadillos have little ears. Our first ear is gonna start right here on his head, just a curved line that goes up, and then it's gonna come back down and it's gonna stop when it touches his back. So there we go. The other ear is gonna start right next to that. It's gonna go up. And when it comes down, it's gonna stop when it touches that ear. While we're working on this end, let's go ahead and give our armadillo an eye. It's just a circle with a tiny circle inside. I think I'll go ahead and give him a mouth too. Give him a little zigzag mouth. On his body, we're gonna give him some stripes because those armadillos have a shell. Sometimes they look like they have stripes on their shell. Sort of an accordion ball because sometimes they, I'm told they can roll up into a ball and this allows them to do that. There we go. You can have more stripes than I do or you can have fewer, that's up to you. Okay, here we go with his feet. He's got, we're gonna do two feet first. Here's the first foot. I'm gonna do two lines. One is longer than the other. Got one short line, one that's a little out, back, out, back, out, back, and then up to connect to that long line. There's his first foot. We're gonna do another one just like it back here in the back, not at the very end of his shell. There we go, short line, long line. Out, in, out, in, out, and back. Now on this back foot, we're not gonna see the toes of the other leg that's behind this one. We're only gonna see the back of the leg. So I'm gonna do another line here, and it's gonna connect to that foot. So it looks like there's a leg back there that we just don't see the toes on. For the front foot, we're actually gonna see the toes on this one. So we're gonna do our line here, just one line, and then out, in, out, in, out, in, and it's gonna run right back into that foot. So now it's got one, two, three, four legs, and armadillos also have a tail. So let's give him a little tail. It comes down from underneath his shell, right there at the very back of the shell. Let's see what else we need. Oh, let's let's put a little uh, cactus way back in the distance. What about that? So the first thing we're gonna do is a long upside down hop. From the right side, we're gonna go back up and do a little short hop. On the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. And then we're gonna do the trunk of that cactus. It's gonna go down and up. It's gonna connect right back over there again. Sometimes those cactus have little, little thorny things on them, so let's put some little 
little lines on it. Those are little stickery things on there. How are you doing here so far? Does it look like a cactus? I bet it does. Well, some of them stick off with the cactus and some are on the inside. They go all different directions. Okay, now we need to show where the dirt and the land is and where the sky is. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna bring a straight line across. It's gonna stop when it gets to the cactus. Start again on the other side. It's gonna stop when it gets to my armadillo. It's gonna start again on the other side over here. Looks like so. What else do we need? Oh, maybe some sun. Maybe the sun would be shining. Let's do a sunshine up here. It's just a circle. There's some little rays of light coming from that. And I think we're ready to put some color on our picture. So today I'm gonna to use acrylic paints. I'm gonna use several colors. I've got orange, yellow, green, blue, brown, and black. You can also use crayons, colored pencils, watercolors, whatever you have handy. That's what you should use to do your picture with. But I've not done a picture with, with acrylic paints in a few days, and I thought that might be a nice change. The first thing I'm gonna do as I get started is to paint my armadillo with a little orange paint. So I'm gonna dip in a little orange on my brush there. And I'm gonna paint his face. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm just gonna paint right over his mouth. I believe I can still see it through my paint and I'll come back and make it a little darker with some black paint a little bit later on. Keep plenty of paint in your brush if you're using paint. It smooths on lots easier when you have a little extra in there. Okay. For his ears, I think I'm gonna use that same orange color. You could even use a, a different color, maybe a, a little bit a light brown or a, um, a gray. You probably use a gray. Okay. The stripes on his back. I'm gonna do every other stripe orange. So let's do, doesn't matter which stripe you start with or which end you start on. How's it going? Are you getting those stripes painted? It takes a few minutes. You need to pause the video so you can catch up. You can certainly do that. One more. Okay, there are his stripes. Let's see what else I'd like to do with that orange. Maybe his feet. I think I'll go ahead and paint his feet orange. We're gonna have lots of orange on this, on this picture. There's one foot. Other foot. I think we might paint his tail this color also. Okay, there's his feet and now his tail. And I think that's going to do it for orange. Okay, there we go. There's our orange on our armadillo. The okay. Paint those in nice and yellow. That's a pretty combination. I guess if I wanted him to be an auburn armadillo, I could have painted those other stripes blue. But we, we don't want to get, get too collegiate here, so we're just going to go with a nice yellow. Two more stripes to go. 
got a little orange mixed in with that one. That's okay though. Sometimes your colors will just get mixed together a little bit. No big deal. Okay, there we go. And you know what else is gonna be yellow in my picture? The sun. The sun is gonna be yellow. So while I've already got that color in my brush, I'll come right up here. Paint that sun yellow. There we go. What's that? How's yours looking? Is it starting to does it look like an armadillo? I bet it does. The next thing I'll do is our cactus, which is gonna be green. Just because and I think most cactus are green. I'm gonna just paint right over those little black lines, especially if you're using watercolor. All those lines are gonna show through your watercolors. Maybe not so much with an acrylic paint, but I can come back with a little black acrylic paint and put those back on. So that's no big deal. Okay, there we go. I have two more colors left. I think since we are in the desert, we're gonna use brown for the ground. So I'm gonna get my brown paint there. Sometimes if I start on the left, then I don't have to drag my arm through wet paint. If you're left-handed, you might wanna work from right to left. And if you're right-handed, work from left to right. How many of you have ever seen a real armadillo? I have them in my yard sometimes. They like to root up my grass. They never make me really happy when they do that. A lot of places to put brown paint down here, right? So we're gonna paint all the way across. All this white that's left down here below his feet, even right up here underneath that cactus. It's all going to be brown here. Okay. It takes a little while to get all that done, doesn't it? How are you doing? Did you decide to use brown or did you decide to use a different color on this part? I loved all the pictures that you've sent me. The paintings from yesterday all turned out really well. Y'all have done a great job. I want you to be sure and send me the pictures of your armadillos too. Can't wait to see what you did to make it different than mine. Sometimes it's different. It's fun to make it different than everybody else's. It's called being creative. And creativity is fun, right? You having fun being creative? I'm almost done here. Almost got it. It might, it might be taking you a little longer than me, or you may be waiting on me to finish. Which is it? If you need to stop the video so you can catch up, you're certainly able to do that. Okay, there we go. And there's my brown. And then my last color is gonna be blue for the sky. I'm gonna get that and get a little blue on my brush there. Oh, I just realized I missed a brown spot. Let's see. Let's just pull the brown right there. Did you miss any spots? It's easy to miss a spot. Now then, back to blue. Here we go. Paint right over the back of my armadillo. Lots of blue sky, right? Just gonna paint right on top of those rays from my sun. I can I'll come back and put those back on in a few minutes. Almost done. 
Still in there. So who's painting with you tonight? Or maybe in the morning you'll paint. When is your favorite time to paint? Do you like to paint in the evenings or, or is this a project that you like to do in the mornings when you're first getting up? What else have you been doing while, while you've been out of school? Are you ready to go back to school? Are your parents ready for you to go back to school? Well, maybe that's the better question. Okay, we're almost done there. Now, because I'm using acrylic paint and not watercolors or crayons, some of my black lines aren't showing up so well. So now what I'd like to do is take a little black, maybe come back around and, and make some little details a little darker. For instance, his eye, I don't want to color in that little circle in the very center, but I am going to color the rest of the eye. And then I'm just going to kind of go back over, color him in, put a little black outline around him. Like so. Run this little zigzag mouth there. Just the bottom there. You might want to take more time with your outline. And I'm doing here, but I like for the outline to be a little bit messy and not quite as um, perfect. But that's just a personal preference. I just like for it to be a little bit, a little bit messy, I think. And there's my armadillo. Now for my cactus back here. I think I remember I said I was going to put some more little, little cactus lines on there so I could see those. Just paint those on. If you did yours with the Sharpie and then you used watercolors, then you don't have to do this part because yours are probably easy to see. Okay, and then my sign up here. Little rays coming from the sign. Little line that divides my earth from my sky there. And then I'm going to use just a little bit of white. A little white there. And with that white, I'm just going to add a few little, little highlight lines like this. It just adds a little bit of interest to your picture. Go. Let's see if I can make his tail look like it's moving a little. So I'll put a few little, little lines there, make it look like it might be moving a little bit. One, do that. And there you go. There's your armadillo. What do you think? How's yours look? <laughs> 